Today I'm in Florida. Jose Ramos from Nova University in Fort Lauderdale invited me to come and build an electronic nose. And who can say no to that? Here at um, NSU, and this is Jose. Hi. And we just uh, built an uh, electronic nose. Composed of two parts. One part is a, an array of eight gas sensors. So they're called Taguchi sensors. This here is the the eight gas sensors will go here on this side. This is the breakout box to supply power and to do the communication part. It interfaces with the with the Raspberry Pi. This was uh, Michael Madsen's idea. He created these modules, open source. And so his idea was that. Uh, Instead of buying an expensive uh, electronic nose, that, which would cost up to $30,000, it's uh, probably equally good to do an electronic nose by yourself. The important part is to do the, the, the signal processing with advanced uh, techniques. And so you sacrifice on the uh, cost of the sensors, but then you, you spend uh, a good effort in the, com the computational part. So that's, that's the whole idea. And then you can use it to uh, well, find yeah, the olive oils, counterfeit ca olive counterfeit oils. olive oils. Uh, we, we are using it for that. Uh, also, we're going to be using it to detect uh, diseases in uh, in palm trees. There's a group uh, in France using it uh, to detect the cancers uh, through breath analysis in rats, coffee, wine, uh, you name it. There's so so many different applications. I I predict that within 10 years, every refrigerator is going to have an electronic nose. Also at airports, it's a technology that will be available maybe within 10 years at, at airports. Each gas sensor reacts differently to different smells. So you get different readings from each sensor that you combine into a signature for each smell.